<laughs> We're back again for another day and another vlog. Um, this is the, uh, I think you should claim this the uh, technology vlog, possibly. The technology part of the day, even though it's, it's nighttime again. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're going to do another unboxing. Um, got something exciting in the mail. This is my new uh, VXR200 from Movo. It's their kind of medium range uh, shotgun microphone. And uh, basically, it's right here. So let's check it out. Okay, we're set up. All right. Um, and basically, I ordered this from Amazon again. Um, there's kind of a sweet spot when it comes to getting products for cameras and GoPros and whatever that I found on a lot of websites. You kind of have to, you can't buy cheap. So if you buy a ton of accessories that are cheap, you think they're going to work for your GoPro, they generally don't work for your GoPro. Or you got to cut them up and make them work for your GoPro, which is generally not a good idea, but it does work sometimes. Um, now this product, um, which I have right here, and I also want to say this is not an endorsement or anything from Movo at all, not paid or anything, this is just my honest opinion of the product and I'm just throwing that out there so the good people of the internet know what to buy and what not to buy. Um, now this is the, uh, uh, come in a pretty solid box, uh, this is the VXR200 stereo video condenser microphone or shotgun mic. Um, Came in this green box, not too bad. Um, you can use it with uh, DSLR cameras, camcorders, personal audio recorders, and so on. Um, pretty decent. Um, I, I, it does come with the specs and the features inside the box. Um, uh, I, I do find one thing very strange that they label here is that you see here they have this stuff on the side. Now, usually these things, the the little. Um, Actually, I'll show this when I when I open this up here. It's kind of funny. Um, now, when we open this up, basically we're gonna have just like this, and we're gonna we're gonna flip it around. Um, kind of a weird thing that they stick the label on this on the other side like that. I find that odd. Anyway, um, so this product right here, there's your you have a guide. Basically, it's pretty straightforward. Um, now this is what I was talking about. This is usually called a mouse. This mouse goes over the microphone to distort or take away like wind noise. Well, this company calls this a dead kitten. Yeah, it says right there on the box, dead kitten windscreen included. Not sure if this looks like a dead kitten to you. Not sure what you think. Let me know in the comments below. I don't really know why this is called a dead kitten, but it more, looks more like, you know, one of those, the hair from the trolls you see on you get when you were like back in the 80s, 90s, they had the troll dolls. This is looks like the hair, except it's off a really old dude. Um, it's like a weird condom thing in it. But yeah, dead kitten. Strange. Hmm. I don't know what they were thinking over on mobile. But anyway, um, so you've got your mount here, which has these little rubber deals. Very solid, pretty solid piece, pretty generic. Um, this piece basically screws under the top of your camera. There's where your light and accessories go. It slides on. This piece tightens up and uh, so on. So you got your cable, 3.5 inch standard cable. And this is the PS Dos Resistance, uh, your microphone. Um, first impressions, it's solid. You know, no nothing flim flammy or moving around. Um, pretty decent, um, I have to say. Um, it is gold and black. I do like the color. Now this this particular this model takes, um, it does take batteries. Um, I think it says around the box, three double eight batteries. So this will take three double eight. And I've already put some in. So when you you get those in there, you will get a green light as you'll see right here, and that'll turn on. And uh, you only have two settings. You have a a passive setting, and a standard setting on here. So basically. From what this says, since I'm kind of new to this, I'll read it to you guys. Um, you have a two-step high-pass filter. You have a flat and 80 megahertz. So 
um, two pass filter and I guess that has to do with noise filtering and subsequent noise around you which I guess generally helps quite a bit um, so you got your OPN that's pretty much everything that's in the box there's nothing else in there um, but they do give you this little handy carry bag which is feels horrible honestly but it is what it is but that's it right there so basically all you're really going to be doing here um, when you're setting this up um, it, it's pretty straightforward there's nothing really to it um, basically all you're doing is taking this you're taking your cable right here and uh, you're going to take plug it right into the back of that and you can honestly do this with one hand it goes just like this over the mic just like that that mounts on top of your camera put it on screw it down that goes in your mic slot um, and you know if you have the like I have the 700D you have a mic slot then you'll have a slot right next to that for your if you have a remote um, uh, a remote uh, capture like a remote that you can turn your uh, shoot with um, which will be another video down the road here um, and then you take your little windsock here and then basically you're going to take that and that just slides right over the top of this it's straightforward whole end of this goes over it um, then you have your little handy dandy buckle here that tells you all about it and the carry case now this is pretty much the whole pack here um, I have tried this on my camera before um, I didn't do it a whole lot, but I did notice a fair amount of difference when it came down to using the um, the stock audio opposed to the microphone audio. It was a little bit tinny, but it it, it was clear and a little bit more precise. Um, so I was pretty happy about that. Now there's a lot of settings on the camera that I'm going to have to mess with to kind of adjust volume and so on, which I'm sure that maybe you guys can give me some hints on photography or give me some ideas about what I should do with this. Um, but I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, with kind of for what it is here. Um, but I'm excited to get more parts for, you know, this camera. I can get everything set up and actually start really doing proper video proper vlogging for you guys with good quality content um but yeah so i'm pretty excited i really uh am happy about this and uh, i will definitely put the link in the description below so you guys can check it out if you guys want to buy it um and uh but yeah definitely solid solid product and uh movo really does a good job i think when it comes to making something affordable that is a decent quality obviously this isn't like a two three hundred dollar mic setup which most people unless you're a professional aren't really going to drop that kind of coin on something but for just amateurs or people starting up like me i'm pretty happy with it so uh if you guys got any questions or comments leave them in the links below check out my patron that's getting started up and uh you know hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more of these really really good videos and um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, you guys have a good one, and I will see you later.